Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Nearly a dozen people suffered injuries and had to be rescued in New York after a possible gas explosion caused a house to collapse. Syracuse Fire Chief Michael Mons confirmed that 10 people were transported to the hospital after a two-story house in Syracuse collapsed at around 4 p.m. Out of the 10 victims taken to the hospital, which includes children, eight are currently in serious condition and on life support. During a press conference, Mons told reporters that 46 firefighters responded to an emergency 911 call made by a residence at 205 Carbon Street. On arrival, they saw heavy fire emerging from a porch on the second floor while flames and smoke spread across the house and attic. The first arriving crews began to stretch hoses into the building as teams of firefighters from additional arriving crews began searches for any trapped occupants. Officials were soon able to contain the scene and the fire was declared completely out after approximately 30 minutes. The chief also said that they could smell gas when they arrived at the scene and had found a car under the rubble. How that car got there, we're unsure right now, Mon said. A portion of the roof of a second floor porch had also collapsed due to the damage while the first floor sustained smoke and water damage. According to the fire department's Facebook post, three adults and one child were displaced by the fire. Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh also said in another statement, It's a tragic situation. This is a situation that I haven't personally observed, certainly nothing to this extent in terms of an explosion or the number of victims, but again there's still a lot that we need to learn. Fire investigators at the scene were able to conclude that the fire began on a second-floor porch. The cause of the fire is still under investigation.